Welcome to the Long Road. I'm John Christie. I'm Joel. And I'm Christie. What are we doing today? We're doing a try something new recipe called chicken broccoli soup. All right, let's get to it. Okay, to start off this recipe, you put a splash of oil in there. That was the most the instructions had, splash of oil. If you like onions, this is where you would put the onions in. But we don't eat onions because we don't like the texture. Don't mind the flavor, don't like the texture. But we're putting carrots, celery, and also we took the stalks, the broccoli stalks, and then finally chopped them. So not the florets, but the actual stalks. Okay, and you put that on about medium, I guess, and you let that go for about 10 minutes until all the veggies are soft. I said to go for about 10 minutes until it starts browning. So here we are. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that's good. And uh, we're going, now we're gonna add garlic. This is four cloves. This is one bay leaf, but ours are kind of small. So we're gonna go with that. And then two, excuse me, one, and then one tablespoon of a dried herb seasoning. So I didn't have any of that. So I looked up and there was a recipe for it and I had all the ingredients. So I just made some home. So we got that. We're going to get that and we're going to saute this for about one minute. Now we're gonna add six cups of chicken broth. We're also um, adding two cups of milk, of course. If you follow us, you know that we generally just substitute almond milk for uh, regular milk. So that's almond milk. And uh, hopefully that won't change the consistency. Norm, we haven't really had any problem with nope. almond milk being a good substitute for regular uh, cow's milk. So. And also we have a corn flour mixture is what she called it. It's, I think it's called a slurry. Um, but it's just two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water mixed together. And then you pour it in there. It helps thicken up your soup. And we're just going to bring this up to a simmer and then we, we can add the rest of our broccoli in there. Okay, so now we've got it brought up to a simmer. Basically boiling, actually, so we probably should have stopped the sooner, but that's all right. Okay, and now we're gonna add in our broccoli florets. So, you know, we added the, st the stalks from it that was finally chopped, and now we're adding the actual broccoli florets to it. And Joel always adds the chicken. I'm the chicken man. You're the chicken man. <laughs> The chicken is just about all added in, and when you're done adding it in, you let this go for about 15 minutes simmering uh, with all the ingredients in there, and uh, then we'll show you the next step after that 15 minutes. The last step is just to add a few things, like a little salt, a little black pepper, maybe a little crushed red pepper, which we actually thought we were supposed to add that in with the herbs earlier when we sauteed the herbs. Oops. But that ain't stopping me from putting it in there. <laughs> and then this, and it's also optional, it's just a little lemon juice. Just like that. Stir it, and it's ready to serve. All right, so here it is the finish. Product. Can you see that? I don't want to spill it out. Please don't. <laughs> we'll we'll take this little crusty bread here and we'll just kind of crumble it up. I'll crumble it up in there for me. No, I don't, I don't know do what that. she does with it. I'm, uh, a, I'm a crumbler. If I eat crackers with my soup, I'm crumbling it up in there. I, I dip it in there and eat the bread and then eat what soup is left after I've done that without bread. Okay. Okay. You're pretty tasty. It's been sitting in the bowl for um, probably five minutes and it's still smoking. <laughs> so this is hot. Hey, 
It's a pretty healthy recipe for you. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you put a buttery piece of crusty bread with it, maybe it's not as healthy as it could be, but you know. We don't demonize food. All foods are good in moderation. What do you think? Good. I got a lot of broccoli and not much chicken, so let me get a second bite. I mean, yeah, it is very light. It's mm -hmm. very light soup. So yeah. if you're looking for one that isn't like, like a creamy based one, yeah, then this I, would be a good I one. I thought the cornstarch was going to cream it up a little bit, but it did not. Not really. All right. So drop us a comment below and um, let us know if you have any recipes you'd like to see us try. Uh, we're always up for uh, new recipes, new things we can, yeah. we can try here on the channel. And we'd love to, we'd love to do that. Um, this is good, by the way. I don't good. know if I said that. I said it would be a really good one for if you're looking for one that's not cream based, that's still yeah. like on the healthier side. This would be a good one for that. Yeah, that's good. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes in between. You just kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there. And with that said, that's going to do it today for the long run. I'm Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.